Hi, I'm Victoria Watts. I work for DAHA, which is the Domestic Abuse Housing Alliance. DAHA is a partnership between three organisations who are working together to improve the housing sector's response to domestic abuse. It's a two-year project um, coming to the end of its first year and it's about engagement with the private rented sector. That engagement to include raising awareness of domestic abuse so that in the longer term the response will be improved in the private rented sector. That engagement is about working with landlord bodies, the RLA being one of, one of the main bodies, to try and improve um, the messages that they can give out to their members in terms of an awareness of domestic abuse in the properties and what they can do to support their tenants and the help available out there. It's definitely not about expecting the same response from the private rented sector from landlords as it is in social housing. So we do not expect or would want you to be victim support officers. What we would want is, if you become aware of domestic abuse, you know that there's help out there for support for the tenant and for you with the tenant's consent to be able to support them through that. There's not always a reason that that tenant has to leave your property. Just because there's domestic abuse does not mean that it automatically is a tenancy coming to an end. Mm. There's help available to risk assess if the perpetrator has, has left the property and the tenant is able to afford and sustain that tenancy then that tenant should be supported to stay in that property. Um, in terms of managing a property, you know, you may go in once a month, you may go in and do a check twice a year or once a year, but you are going in that property to manage it and manage it effectively. Whilst you're there, you may spot signs such as what would be traditionally categorised as malicious damage. Not all malicious damage is malicious damage. Repairs to property, repeat re repairs, repair requests regarding doors, windows, those sort of things that perhaps wouldn't be um, natural wear and tear. Mm -hmm. Don't view things always through antisocial behaviour. Um, it's, it's too easy to put it under antisocial behaviour. Yes, of course that exists and it's prevalent and we all know about that, but it's about having eyes wide open to look at it in terms of is it, is it something else. A good example of that is you may well get a call from a neighbour who you know known for a long time saying that there's noise nuisance late night banging shouting um in terms of that yes it's noise nuisance however don't just look at it through nuisance try and ask the delicate question to the tenant if at all possible to ascertain if something else is going on